Hey guys, it's me, Kenzie Taylor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And like and comment and enjoy the sauce. Hi, my name is Kylie Rocket and you're watching. <laughs> okay, take two. Okay. Hi, my name is Kylie Rocket, and you're listening to The Sauce with Kenzie Taylor. New episodes every Tuesday. Estás escuchando... Oh gosh, I have to say it. I have to like think about it. Estás mirando The Sauce con Kenzie Taylor. No episodios nuevo... Fuck! <laughs> Hold on. Episod nuevo, nuevo episodios cada... Hola, mi nombre es Kylie Rocket. Estás mirando The Sauce con Kenzie Taylor. Cada martes hay nuevo episodios. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Sauce with Kenzie Taylor. Today, my guest is the beautiful adult film star Kylie Rocket. Hi guys. Hey. <laughs> so this camera right there is your close up one. So okay. that's like your main look at me. Okay. Hey. You can Hi. even wink at them, you know. <laughs> so Kylie, uh you're originally from Florida, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. When did you make the jump to living here in California? Um, in twenty twenty, like end of pandemic. Mm hmm. Um but I was living in Miami at that time because I moved mm -hmm. from Jacksonville, which is where I'm re really from. Everyone thinks I'm from Miami. Duval? Yes, Duval. <laughs> I love That's that. how you say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and yeah, because I started in Miami, the industry, before pandemic. Pandemic hit, stayed there. LA opened up for production first. So I was like, let me come to LA mm -hmm. for a month. And then I never left. So. What was your first scene you ever did? Uh, my first scene. Was it for Bang Bros? Because it was in Florida? Yes. Yeah. For, yeah, Kylie Rocket. Yeah, my, my first Kylie Rocket. Yes, yeah. Is Bang <laughs> Bros, for sure. The Bang Bus. What do you mean your first Kylie Rocket? Is there another, is there another my character? My first official scene was Tanya, which everyone knows about Tanya. <laughs> that was your stage name? Yeah. Tanya? Tanya. I didn't pick it. The director <laughs> picked it out because I didn't that think. That is the weirdest name for a Cuban girl. I know. Like, no last name, no anything. Just Tanya. Tanya. You're like, okay. No. Yeah. I was like, whatever. Because I didn't think I was going to actually stay in the industry. Okay. Because I just wanted it for, I really just wanted good Christmas because I never had a good Christmas. Oh. Like and I was like, okay, I want to have a good Christmas. I was living on my own. And then... Yeah, I did those two videos. Literally didn't think about it at all. It came out, and then everyone in my hometown was like, Hi, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I could not see you as Tanya. Like, I'm dead. That's why I changed my name. That's why I was like, fuck Chick-fil-A. Tanya, I'm thinking of fucking Tanya Harding, the fucking figure skater chick. Like, <laughs> there, Isn't there a Tanya, though, in the biz? Uh, Tanya Tate, Tanya yeah. Tate. She's yes. a MILF. Yeah. Yes, yes. She's awesome, but Love yeah. Her. I just, I can't see you as a Tanya. But yeah, yeah. Kylie, Kylie Rocket fits you. Thanks, yeah. Is there a reason why you chose Rocket? Yeah, actually. I have a mascara from CoverGirl named Rocket. <laughs> and I actually still have it in my makeup bag. The really? One, yeah, it's like melts it up and everything from like <laughs> heat and just, it's yeah. really dry. Yeah. <laughs> But that's the one. Yeah. yeah it's my favorite It's like mascara. a keepsake. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do they not make that kind anymore? Uh, I think they still do, but I don't buy it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Every now and then I will, but. Now you bougie. Yeah. You're like, I'm buying the expensive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who is your first scene with, scene partner wise? J-Mac. Oh my God. Yeah. That's an incredible first scene. It was the best. I wish he was here in LA. Right, I, you're he's the coming. Shit. He I, is? He posted on, on Twitter. He is coming. I forgot the date. Just for a trip, though? I feel like. I don't okay. know. I feel like, yeah, I think he is coming. Okay. And I was like, shoot content with me. Yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> like, hey, I know you're probably booked up, but what's up? <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> yeah. DM me. <laughs> it was a really good scene, though. It, it was really awesome, and they were super cool. Mm -hmm. Love the vibe that Miami people have. I just love the 
love Latins. You know, yeah. Latin. Was it uh, like out in, was it public stuff? Yeah, we were out. Yeah. Yeah. We like pulled up to a street and then the, the camera guy is actually the one talking the most of the time. Mm -hmm. And then he just kind of instigating, you know, J-Mac to hit on me and then me to come on like the bus and shit. Yeah. It was really, really fun. It was yeah. a really long intro. <laughs> so we had a, but it was so oh, really was it, it was bang bus? Yeah, the bang okay. bus. And yeah. have to do that one. Yeah. And they actually leave you out naked for like a couple minutes. Yeah, they like leave and then come back. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Were you nervous or were I you just was, like whatever? But they pick a good area where it's like very secluded. But sometimes you'll see a car like come in. Yeah, yeah. you're like, you guys come back. <laughs> <laughs> I was really nervous, but you know the the adrenaline you have after fucking and shit, you're yeah. just like, what the fuck ever. You like, come drunk. Yeah, yeah. you <laughs> literally come drunk, especially with J Mac, bro. I was pow driver all of dude he is literally insane like he'll like throw you up and put you in a position and you're like i don't even know what i'm doing right now but continue no literally like, yeah. he, there was a scene that we did and it was it wasn't on the bang bus and he like picked me up sideways and i'm literally just fucking like this in the air yeah he's just but like, he's just like holding you up like it's nothing he yeah just, that's his thing he loves carrying people yeah like, it's I crazy he's it. tough dude i mean you're a mm -hmm. lot like smaller than i am proportion wise and like he did that shit to me and i was yeah. like okay yeah he does it with like, everyone yeah i'm like no joke yeah love him so do you think from that scene on is that when you knew like i'm gonna make a career out of this Definitely around those scenes yeah. because that's whenever I, I have a really good mentor over there who I still keep in contact with. His name's Jacob. He's the recorder of the mm. Bang Bus. And that he was the one that told me that he like saw a really good potential in me because of the Bang Bus scene because we just had a good, the vibes were really good in the intro. It was just mm -hmm. really long. Conversation was great. Like, well, it's real. Too. Yeah. It's it all ad lib. Real. Like, yeah. Yeah. So he was like, you do, you can do really, really good. And I was like, okay. So I like actually pushed extra hard. And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Love that. Be yeah. It was the beginning of those. <laughs> it was only a f short amount of time, but I felt yeah. like so long. Like I yeah. felt like I knew them for already like my whole life. So what were you doing work wise before you started? I was working at Chick-fil-A. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I was a manager. Give me those. I love that. <laughs> oh my, you probably pissed the fuck out of people because you're, no, you're everyone, younger. I, um, maybe, but I, I was everyone's favorite. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because like I was always hands on. Like I love hard labor work even to this day. Like mm -hmm. cleaning, like I will, cleaning OCD, like everything. Everything has a place. They're super clean there. Yeah. Some, all, not all of them. I've but seen almost. I was, I would, I would make sure like we would clean, like pull out all the things mm -hmm. and like that would be my thing because that's yeah. the board station thing yeah area and like and our chick was small it was inside the inside the mall so it was just very small it wasn't yeah. a drive through so yeah. it was just and it was like a hibachi chick-fil-a is what i say because you could see the prep station and everything in the front like yeah. where the registers were at like yeah. this is a register and then you just turn around and that's like the board station that's small as shit yeah wow. i have yeah. a question about chick-fil-a yeah if you don't mind me asking go ahead when you guys say my pleasure yeah do you actually mean it <laughs> um i feel like i've always beginning, wondered that i feel like the beginning we do why though i i Have wondered to that Chick too yeah. i wasn't gonna ask that but i will say they you guys are trained to say that yeah why what is the reason it's just their motto like any any time i've ever went there they always say yeah, that it's always. their motto or their mission is what they okay. call it and they just but they're homophobic i feel like so. it's brainwashing though because you guys it look like you mean it when I you would, say it I, yeah, yeah we do pleasure. but it gets to a point where yeah. we say it so much so we're like i <laughs> used to hear people say thank you on the street and like i would just say it automatically like, my I'm pleasure like, <laughs> just caring yeah it, i had to get trained to not stop like to, like to stop yeah. have you ever it. said it in one of your scenes no <laughs> That would be epic. I don't think so. Maybe. But I will say, uh, b before we leave the Chick Fil A subject, the chicken minis, dude, oh God, best breakfast minis. ever. Yes. Those in the say. little hash browns with mm. some honey, dude. Yes, fuck it's the me honey up. Sleep on the honey breakfast. spread. Oh, yeah, so good. The Chick Fil A biscuits are really good too. Yeah, I love the biscuit. The, the definitely good breakfast ones. <laughs> so you moved here. Uh, did you know anyone here? Or were no. you just kind of like, what's up? I didn't up? know anyone here. I just knew Dave and and Scarlet Sage. And like, I just mainly knew Dave moving to their house because mm -hmm. I stayed um, at their house for like a month, month and a half before mm -hmm. I got my place. Mm -hmm. And then 
Um, I was the only girl in the model house for like three weeks. So Scarlett and I got really, really close and it was a good time. And then Maddie Mae came in and then Delilah Day came in mm -hmm. and then more girls coming in. And then X Biz nominations is where I really started to meet people. Yeah. Um, you know, all the other girls, they all came to the house and just little by little, I started to meet people, but I didn't know anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you always like an outgoing person? So that wasn't a big deal or were you like overwhelmed? I feel like in the beginning I was overwhelmed mm -hmm. because I was never like a social person. I was always working. Yeah. So I never really knew how to like socialize, but I was really good with people behind the counter at Chick-fil-A and like talking to them. And really, yeah. it was really easy. Like, just being nice, mm -hmm. just be myself. So I guess I kind of just translated that to like meeting the people here. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's just who I am. I like, I like, I'm nice. You're a kind person. Yeah. I will say it. Yeah. I know her off camera. She's very kind and, and has very man bubbly and, and has manners. Yeah. Yes. yes most definitely. <laughs> so fast forward, you know, you get in, you're meeting all these people, the nom parties and stuff like that. What was like your aha moment you think that you had here in California filming where you were like, dude, this is my shit. Like, this is where I belong. Um, it was definitely my first deeper scene okay. um, that I did. Um, I was literally called in. I was in the middle of a scene already of a shoe. And like, they were like, hey, do you want to work for deeper? Like call times four. I don't know if you're going to be done or not. And I was like, I'm literally about to be done. I'm for sure going to want to do it. Yeah. Like, fuck that. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> and did it. I did really, really good in the lines, the scripts. Mm -hmm. I just love like, you know, the production things to it. Very um, high end. Yeah. Good, very high great end. Great quality. Yes. I, I think that was my first taste of like really acting in the industry. Because in Miami, it's not like that. It's just gonzo. Really gonzo. Yeah. So that's whenever I was like, this is what I really like. And like, yeah. they told me I did really good. I did the sex um, scene in one take. Like, okay. it was amazing. Who was your uh, scene partner? Mick Blue. Shout out to Mick Blue. Yeah. He was awesome. Mick Blue. What yeah. was the, uh, the script? Like, what was the scenario for you guys? I was like a girl. I was a watch enthusiast mm -hmm. and I knew this guy had a specific watch mm -hmm. but I came in I like knocked into a, a house and like pretended I was lost and needed a phone to call so then I go to the phone and then I unplug it <laughs> pretend like it's not working oh no and then I go to the bathroom but then when I go to the bathroom I like peek into where the watches are and then like like literal watches that people wear on their wrists yeah Whoa, watches okay. Yeah, and then I don't see it there, and then I go upstairs into the room, and that's where he catches me. Mm. And then and in the middle of being a thief, like, he's, like, yeah. caught you. Yeah, yeah, caught you. And then he has the watch in his hand, so. You have to fuck me to yes. get this. And that's when I <laughs> lure him in. And then at the end, I think I kill him. I really? bash him in the head. Yeah. You're like, okay, yeah. now I'm going to take my watches. Thanks, bye. <laughs> I know. I had a great time on that set. Like, oh. That's fun. Where yeah. Were the hours long? Yeah, it was a 12 hour set, but I felt like it went so fast. Does that bother you when you have long days on set? Uh uh. No. It doesn't really bother me. Like, I literally yeah. just had a 12 hour day set yesterday yeah. for a VR scene, which honestly could go really fast. But yeah. I really don't mind it because, like, at the end of the day, you just want to pull. For me, I just want to do a good product. Exactly. And, like, you can see it in, like, people's like energy and like mm -hmm. if you just want to get out of there, mm -hmm. you know, like, I don't it's know. Come I've off. just never had a problem with. You know, you're going to get out whenever you get out. You're going to get paid at the end of the day. And what are you going to mm -hmm. do? You're going to what? Go home and like. Yeah. Sit there. On like <laughs> some TV or something. I mean, maybe that's what I do. Yeah. But like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been doing really better at doing stuff, actually. I've been very productive. Yeah. Yeah. What have you been up to? Oh, my gosh. So much shooting content, like working like crazy. I'm literally like three, four times a week and then shooting content. And then I've been like buying a whole bunch of like Valentine's. I have like set up a Valentine's Day wall, back wall on, in my house. Mm -hmm. And then for like a Valentine's shoot, shoot yeah. thing. And then I went to Party City. So I'm already looking at St. Patrick's 
birthday. Look at you. Yeah, because March is already coming up. But cause Isn't that crazy, booked. though? Isn't yes. that crazy, though? Like, yes. literally, like, it's February. Literally. Like, what the actual fuck, dude? Oh I feel like we were just at the Molly Christmas party. That's what I was just like, talking about. Like, the fuck? <laughs> I felt like I was just at the Halloween parties, yeah, it's bro. It's crazy, dude. The Halloween, spa- the Halloween month flies. was crazy. I know. I love Halloween. Halloween. But yeah, the Halloween party. I didn't realize I loved Halloween as much until <laughs> last year. Yeah. You're like, okay, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I do. But yeah, so you're you're working on a, l- a lot of, you know, your own content more and yeah. putting more like effort into It's just addictive designs like, and stuff like that. Once you see it like money goes up, yeah. You just don't want it to Do stop. you have any particular type of scene that you um like to shoot the most of content wise? Well, I do just, I just do a lot of customs. Like okay. people just love my customs. Mm-hmm. I do a lot of boy, girl, girl, girl. Um, there's a lot of threesomes in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to do a foursome, which I should probably tweet. I was going to, mm-hmm. um, cause recently a lot of people has been scheduling content. I've been noticing, I feel like, you know, yeah. new year, let's all yeah. start. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But it's, let's keep going at it. Don't stop. I was going to say, let's, yeah, you let's have stay to consistent. consistent. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Yeah. But I will say this. it's it's hard to to nail people down. But it is. If you like me, like if you just keep booking it and like mm-hmm. actually doing it and don't cancel, like it's just fun. You it know? is. Like, it really is fun. fun at the end of the day. Like, yeah. You're just having sex and like with people that you already know and like, I don't know. Well, (laughs) speaking of having sex, I have some funny questions, actually. What's the most disgusting thing that's ever been inside of your mouth? (laughs) Oh, um, I don't know. (laughs) This is from a, this is from a fan. It's at sarcastic back chod 2020. Oh, you know what? (laughs) Really? I'm really thinking back, back on this. Yeah, yeah. No, you're fine. Maybe when I'm like, even like... Four or five years old, like traumatized. Mm. I remember grabbing my own poop from the <gasps> toilet <gasps> and eating it. Oh my god! I don't know. I I know because my mom whooped my ass. She's bro. like, "Why are you eating your own shit?" She whooped my ass. So I guess that. Did you have to pry it out of your hands? Like, were you just going? No, I think I realized and I showed her. Okay. I don't really, I know, but Dude, I just remember getting I'm my ass whooped because of poop. Five year old you with just <laughs> fucking shit all over, like a crustache of shit all over your mouth, oh. looking looking like you just ate a Hershey's Ew, chocolate bar. Like an Astro Ew. brownie. <laughs> Ew. Debbie snack. That's oh, epic, dude. Yeah. Your mom's like. Hell no. Oh, no, yeah. But she's she swearing at you in Spanish. I'm sure she was. <laughs> she was like, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> <Or> <laughs> God. Oh, Probably my God. Like, oh I'm my assuming God. that's the last time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, what? <laughs> the next question. What's, uh, what's the thing that you fear the most? This is from at X, XXANA. Um to lose everything that I've worked hard to get I guess like possessions or people or like what more like possessions you know because like I mean I don't know to me like I've just worked so hard to like get to where I've gotten Mm -hmm. so like my biggest fear is like to lose all of that and like have to start all over again so to like be homeless and not have a car and all that stuff yeah okay yeah so I, I think, yeah, lose everything, failure, I guess. Yeah, is per se. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a deep one. Yeah, I know. I'm it's not going to happen, I'm a though. deep, deep child. Yes. <laughs> so deep. Uh. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, at Mr. 1N, do you have any hidden talents? I don't know. I say this all the time. I feel like this is a really good hidden talent to have. I drive really really well mm-hmm. really well yeah i think so yeah i've never gotten a ticket yeah never gotten a crash yeah i've literally i've only like the parking 
garages here in LA, like they're really, really tight. Well, yeah. like, scratched Very the side now. of my door once in mm-hmm. my old car. Mm-hmm. But I've never like actually. I need like knock on wood because I say it all the time, and I've been saying it even more recently. Yeah, but I feel like it's a good talent to have to drive really good, especially here in California. Yeah, people can't drive. No, they can't. Especially when it rains. Everybody's yeah. like, oh, "What do I do? I don't know. Where do I go?" I noticed that too <laughs> here. I'm like, "Why?" And like you, you're used to it. I mean, Florida fucking rains like every other day yeah, or every drive day for like an hour. There. I actually yeah. went to Florida like a few months ago, and I like noticed how fast people were driving. I like was driving. 80, 90 everywhere. Dude, yeah, I was going <laughs> eight. Sometimes I go like, if I can, I'll go eighty here. Like, yeah, if I literally can. I got a ticket in Tampa. I was going like eighty seven and a sixty five. Oh my god! I was like, whoops. I got your ass. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I just always avoid them. Like, if I need to go left, I'll go right if I see them. I don't care. I'll yeah. be late. I do not care. <laughs> I don't care. I'll just avoid them at all costs. But recently, I've been getting a lot better at, like, not caring. Like, okay, I'm not doing anything wrong. Yeah. You know? It's weird, though. I will say it's weird to be in your car and have a, a police car behind you. And you're like, my registration's paid. My, yes. my car is mine. Yeah. I have insurance. <laughs> what do I have in here? Oh, I, I have <laughs> no paraphernalia in here. I don't have any guns. Why do I feel like I'm doing something wrong? Literally. And then I'm like 10 and 2, 10 and 2, 10 and 2. <laughs> 10 and 2. Like, <laughs> That's me. My music's all the way yeah, down. Yeah. I'm like, turn my music down. Literally. Stop driving with my knee. Like, <laughs> Yeah, my phone's like not nowhere to be seen. I'm not even yeah. smoking my puff bar. Yeah. Like, fuck the puff bar at this point, too. Well, the one time I was drinking a liquid death out of the can. Oh, and oh it looks like a Modelo, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And it was really weird because I had a cop next to me. Mm-hmm. And he did like a double take. And I knew that he thought that that's what it was. I picked it back up, turned the him. can and showed him. And he's like, oh, <laughs> and then just kept driving. That needs to be a commercial. Right? Yeah. It like really does. Just described. Yeah. Yeah, it does. That would be a good one. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do go like viral finally on boobs. TikTok. Yeah. I'd be like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink my water now. Bye. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I don't know. It's so weird. It's a weird thing to be fearful of them. I don't it know. Is. I don't know why. Do you have any questions on there for Kylie? For Kylie? Yeah. Um, let's, yeah, we do actually have a couple of questions. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. Kylie from Arnold Jason. What is your future plan? Oh, it's a deep one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get real deep into that one because. Do you have any near future plans, long term? Um, I will let's just do say, let's just do the next two years. Yeah, we'll keep it. Well, yeah, I will say short. for the next two years, <laughs> I'm just let's just gonna say I'm just saving, saving, saving to get my dream house. Oh, yes. What's your dream house? It's just gonna be in like. In the mountains somewhere it doesn't even need to be like in LA. Probably I'm thinking thinking about like Arizona or Vegas. Arizona is beautiful. Yeah, um, and it just have like open like windows, nice pool, mm-hmm. and like few like three four rooms and like white walls and very like simple, very like aesthetic y. Um, Will you have an elevator? Uh, I don't think so. No? I don't think the elevator's needed. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It would be good for production, you know? A hundred percent. Yeah. yeah that's, actually. That's what I always think of. Also, too, groceries and shit. Yes. You never know. You never Ooh, know. Maybe actually, your kitchen and shit's on the second level, and you're like, I don't want to haul I that shit up. I actually went to a house mm-hmm. in, in um, Beverly when I first got here um, to LA, and I had an elevator, and it was so cool. Yeah. But it just so slow. I would want one faster. Yeah, yeah. Like, that like just a goes, rocket? I need yeah, a fast like a yeah. rocket. <laughs> uh, later, no pun like a rocket. Right. <laughs> that would be so cool. So Patrick underscore sixty five seven forty period underscore G <laughs> asked, "Do you peg?" That's like if I fuck with a if dildo. you put a strap on. If you put a strap on and you fuck someone else, yeah, like man or woman. I've done it in scenes, um, but I've never done it in like my personal life or like. Content wise, which I do want to do, I just haven't had the chance. You to. want to do it to a man or a woman? I've done it to a woman's, yeah, not to a man. How would you feel about bending over a man? Like, 
be like, tick that fucking I dick. did it once. Tick in that my dick. personal life. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just not an anal, like, I'm not an anal girl myself. Okay. And, like, I don't even like to lick guys' assholes. Okay. Like, I'll go, my consent for. So you've never even done anal yourself? I've had. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're just not, like, a fan? Yeah. I this can't. is weird, though. You told us earlier you ate the poopy, so I thought maybe you'd like butt stuff. <laughs> No, I she's traumatized, traumatized from her mother <laughs> saying, yes. don't you do that. She fucked herself up, dude. <laughs> no, literally. Little five-year-old I, fucking it, Kylie fucked it, herself uh, up. For me, like, you I just. shadow work on that. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like, I my consent all the time, like, for scenes, yeah. for the girl, I'm like, I will lick your asshole. I just won't lick your asshole for the guy. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, okay. Yeah. Like, I'll lick the girl's asshole. Yeah. I don't care. Just something about guys. And then, like, <laughs> me just. To me, kudos to you if you like that. I just don't like that. You don't you like know? getting no. your ass licked? I do. Oh, okay. I just don't like like getting like seeing like a guy like and me like pretending to fuck him. I just yeah. couldn't fuck a guy. Okay. Him. So she doesn't want to peg a guy yeah, and she couldn't. doesn't like licking guys' asses. Yeah, I couldn't. But you like to lick those balls and dick though. I do like to lick mm -hmm. the balls and dick. <laughs> yes. The balls are actually really, really fun. They really are. And yeah. they're so left out sometimes. They and I'm are. like, those poor fucking things. No, for real. I'm like, oh, let me just All balls them. matter, okay? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Love balls. Um, we do have some other questions. Yeah. Do you okay. want me to keep going with those? Sure. Okay. Hello, Fonz. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, from. You don't even have to read the whole thing. Just, just okay. say like I don't know the first. Par Parker Lewis. Okay. There we go. Um, who are some actresses you hope to work with that you have not worked with? Um, definitely Keisha Gray. I want to work with Adriana Chechik. Um, definitely Riley Reed, for sure. Is she still working? I don't. Well, she does her own stuff. Oh, but I don't even know if these girls. I don't even know if Keisha still performs. I think she does. She just did a scene for Black Raw, so maybe she does. Maybe. Um, I don't know why I just whispered. <laughs> <laughs> um, those they're coming up from the top of my head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then off the top of your head, from. At yours, yes, Raj. Uh, what are, uh, off the top of your head right now? What are five favorite co-stars of yours? Um, Dems definitely Kenzie Taylor. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck Sarah Ryder. Love Sarah Ryder. That her and I get dirty. Ooh. I never met her yet, but she's a cute what's up, little Sarah? sweetheart. I, yeah. I think she's from, I don't know if she's in Miami or Vegas. I think it's Vegas. Mm. But every time we work together, it's amazing. Okay. Um, um, I just love working with girls. So, like, mm -hmm. all girls are just coming up from the top of my head. Um, Anna Claire Clouds, love working with her. The person that I always see, like, male wise, you do scenes with and have always been, like, really hot looking, uh, Ricky Johnson. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I love Ricky's dick. It's velvety, silky. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Yes. You know what? Also, Ricky. too, it's really wet with some feels mm -hmm. by yes. Kenzie Taylor. Yes. Uh, yep, put some great. feels on that. Yep. Put some feels on it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ricky Johnson for sure. We yeah. always have a great, mm, great scene. Okay, let me mention a guy. I love. I love working with Mick. Mm hmm. Love working with Mick. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah. Is there is there more? Or is that a Um, we do have another one. Okay. I'm I'm going to kind of translate the question. <laughs> well, I'll say it how it is, but I feel like you can interpret it okay. in your own way. Um, this is from Arnold Jason. I am a known smiley face. Kylie, do you struggle mentally while acting? Um, like maybe I you get anxious or nervous or have a problem so. with the script, but I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. I like that. That's like that's what I'm saying in the deeper scene. Yeah. That's when I really found like I'm not great at it. I'm not a hundred percent. Do you like, want to do more acting yeah. rather no, than or I love the acting scenes. Okay, and, like doing I could see myself doing like mainstream moving acting like would love that. roles. I would love that too. I I don't know. I just l you the more you practice, the more you get better at it, and the mm -hmm. more you get comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten to a point now to where I can just look at a script and then kind of 
I have to read it from front to end and mm-hmm. then read my lines again so I know what's happening. And then yeah, once you know the so story, you get it. Yeah. then you're like, okay, this is what, like, this is happening because this happened. Mm-hmm. Or, like, you're doing this because you're about to do this. Like, exactly. And you just kind of mentally put yourself in that character. And then, yeah. How I do love you it. prep for, like, memorizing a script? Do you, like, re- just keep reading it over to yourself? Do you, like, write it down and read it yourself? No, I or? keep, I literally will read it in my head. Like, people can be talking all around. Like, yeah. I'll just sit and just, like, if it's a long, like, 10 page thing, I'll, like, memorize page by page mm-hmm. and, like, look at it, read, like, read it in my head and like even other lines but I won't say the other lines 100% but I'll kind of memorize the other people's lines to Mm -hmm. see like where I have to start then my next line Mm -hmm. and then like once I'm done with that page I'll go to the next page but then I'll go to the next page adding the first one so I know like okay I'm done with this page continue from memorizing those lines but now add the second page and Mm -hmm. then once you're that then do that with the third page and that's how I just that's my technique yeah and I literally don't even read the lean scenes like sometimes I'll read this the the scripts the day before if it's a really long scene Mm -hmm. yeah but like most of the time it's like right when I'm on set that's you're crazy I'll do girl it. yeah you're crazy right when I'm if on it's set. a long thing like I gotta in advance yeah but what I do my technique is um I will do the lines for like each scene I'll say the scene number I record it on my phone myself yeah and I'll say you know the other person's like character name and then like their line and then I'll say whatever my line and I'll yeah. go, go all through that way I after probably like four times or five times of playing it I'm rehearsing what I'm saying with yeah. my own voice, knowing like, am I fucking up or am I getting it right? Yeah. Um, but it that's ca- just my own technique. Yeah. Everybody's different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's com- almost like you're listening to a song, but it's not like you're listening to your voice. Exactly. You, it's like a pattern. Exactly. Listening to the pattern. That's a, that's a hidden talent I have and it's so yeah. useless, but I, I know so many song lyrics. Like so many fucking songs, like literally, yeah, you do. like rap songs, like <laughs> hip hop, like R and B, fucking rock, metal, like d- random shit. Like I know Spanish. so many. Th- I know a lot of. Spanish I do not songs. know that she does. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I mean, I would put me Spanish playlist. I will know most of them, <laughs> and it sucks because like all the all the um like English English songs from back then mm-hmm. I don't really know you know like the basics ones that everyone should like know I don't mm-hmm. know them because I know all the back then Spanish songs you're Cuban correct no Puerto Rican Puerto Rican okay. yeah half Puerto Rican half white so you speak Spanish fluently like your whole life yeah awesome. I always spoke to my mom in English though like she would yeah. speak to me in Spanish and then I would reply back in English yeah, do you talk to her in English now, or do you talk in it's like Spanish? Spanglish? No, <laughs> some word Spanish. And yeah, some I've gotten a little comfortable. Little by little, I get more comfortable. But she's still like, "Ooh, she sounds so good." And I'm like, "Mom, please don't start that." Yeah, it embarrasses me. <laughs> and you have a twin sister. How how is the yes. support from her regarding your career? Is she supportive of what you do? Yeah, she's very supportive. Yeah. She's actually the one that helped me turn in my uniform. Chick fil A. That's awesome. Yeah. She's the one that she. <laughs> Thanks, um, sis. <laughs> yeah, for real. She's the one that convinced me to actually do it. I remember what she said. She was like, You literally look so happy talking about it. Why don't you just fucking do it? Just do it. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, You know what? I'm just going to do it. And you think I, she got you to like mm-hmm. fucking finally like bust out of your bubble of like kind of holding yourself back? Yeah. In a way? I think I was because all yeah. of my friends were her friends. I like never made friends socially myself in high school. Yeah, like ever. dude, you have a lot of friends here. Yeah. I will say, <laughs> you're you. very popular, hot commodity, Kylie <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> yeah, I love that, honestly, and I love that it's just like, like, it's separate from my hometown. You know, like yeah. I got away from it, and like these are my people. Yeah, like, and I feel like friends. too, like I mean, I lived in Jacksonville for a while. I'm not like born and raised or whatever, yeah. but I feel like it's smaller there, and like everybody knows everyone's business. Everyone knows everyone, especially like yeah. where, like, where I high school years Mm -hmm. is like the prime you know yeah so that i was in orange park and like a little little town underneath like it's clay county and then duval county Mm -hmm. like and it was super super small just a bridge over so like that's where my high school was so like that was literally just like two miles long Mm. and a really busy 
busy um one street called blanding which oh that was the main one and then everyone just knew everyone it was only one were you high school a for that troublemaker in high school or were you a good no, girl i was actually pretty good yeah my whole actually our whole class mm -hmm. was really really like we all liked each other there was no one like never heard of anyone like bullying anyone like everyone like was friends with everyone like football players were like friends with the bands and i was friends with like all of these mm -hmm. we were just all we just all kind of grew up together because that like i started making friends in junior highs whenever i met everyone mm -hmm. but everyone in that town like were together since pre-k so mm -hmm. everyone knew each other from growing up to fucking 12th grade so i'm guessing that that long of you know being around people like it really blew the fuck up once you finally started Oh, yeah. doing videos because I mean especially you know RK and Bang Bros and browsers all those like viral instantly yeah, yeah. so everybody is probably blowing they you know. up <laughs> yeah yeah but no one's ever really like said anything negative to me yeah in my face you know they always say something you know like I'm so proud of you doing great things that's yeah. what they'll tell me would you rather have someone talk shit to your face or talk shit to you virtually um talk shit to my face yeah because i don't really care about virtual yeah i don't look at it i don't yeah. pay attention to it <laughs> i know same i'm like oh that's cool you think yeah. i'm ugly oh, scrolling on said that <laughs> okay like oh oh okay yeah. you think i look bad here okay that's awesome yeah like, <laughs> i'm not i don't i'm really good with like not being affected by anything yeah so how do you balance you know taking care of your personal life and mental health as you know on the on the side of when you're not obviously Shooting. doing adult film um i feel like now i've been getting better at this like recently mm -hmm. it's just like getting up and just doing something mm -hmm. you know not always just sitting down and like watching tv and like wasting your day like oh i could have done this like yeah. there's so many ideas i have in my head that i'm like oh i want to do this i want to do that and i just never did it for the longest yeah so like now I'm like waking up and like started going to the gym again. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good gym. And um, I will give you my gym after we're done here. But yeah, it's amazing. Period. But I, I know we, we live in different areas. So. Okay. Yeah. Because I just get scared of mm. like people in West Hollywood sometimes. So, yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, let me just start going there. Um, but yeah, so I didn't like every day I'm booked up shooting content or just shooting adult and um and you have two awesome dogs yeah two awesome dogs i always have to walk them every single morning now have a mm -hmm. good routine so i like walk them in the mornings and make my little um pre-workout i go down to the gym now i come up and like by that time i have a little bit of energy i'll like throw a load in sometimes i love to do errands mm -hmm. i love to do like love housewife stuff mm -hmm. i will clean to the death of everything i, I love cook. to clean i yes. can't cook can't Ugh. cook love to like i'll when i do it like i'm i love to do it and like yeah. when i plan it mm -hmm. yeah i'm really really housewifey too love that. I'm very errandy love errands <laughs> i've never errands. heard someone say they love errands i love doing <laughs> errands I yeah i would say maybe it's just you like to just be busy yes i like to be yeah. busy yeah yes so how do you handle if you know if you get like depression or you know sadness and stuff like that do you do you not ever encounter that because i know a lot of people yeah, in film including I, myself that have dealt with yeah depression. i literally just that's what i'm saying like recently i've been starting because i literally for i moved into a new apartment yeah and i didn't like it at first like it just really put me down i did it i rushed into it super super fast didn't think about it at all and it put me down like really bad i just did not want to get out of bed unless i had to go to work mm -hmm. like it was basically i was working nine to five like yeah going back home sleeping all day with the dogs not even like barely even cleaning and then yeah. getting up to go to work and like coming back home like yeah that's how it was basically like that's my depression lifestyle but i won't really show it like yeah. i'm really good at you know like if i have to do like you know a motley event a party you know between that time how like, you doing i'm great yeah, yeah i'm good you know that's the thing i will say it's hard and i try to share this a lot on my podcast because i'm like a huge advocate for mental health because i feel like especially social media like everybody posts how happy they are and how great everything is like no one ever posts 
real yeah. shit like yo like I have been in bed for five days and literally. I'm isolating and like I feel like I want to die yeah literally. like you don't ever see anybody posting that type of shit because when people do it's like no one cares yeah no one cares nobody like, no one me, like me I feel like I don't even post it because sometimes like I feel like I don't want people knowing or like I didn't want people yeah. feeling bad for me you're more yeah. embarrassed yeah and I feel embarrassed so yeah. it's like yeah. that's why I don't post but I feel like we should like I feel like we're talking about it now with the Pineapple Express. Yeah. Stuff too. Like, it's yeah. kind of getting more known. Yeah. So, it's going to therapy. Mm -hmm. so I feel like that's been helping, too. Yeah. And stuff. I've, um, I've been getting uh, Pineapple Express mentioned a lot to me by people and, yeah. and the uh, sex worker film world. So, that's really cool. Like, yeah. I don't have a therapist through Pineapple Sport, but I will say I think it's great. My therapist isn't through that. Yeah. I found one... Um, She's still really good, sex positive, knows what I do. And yeah, awesome. yeah. But I didn't know Pineapple Express had it. I just knew that they were, like, a really strong advocate. They just started health. up, though, didn't yeah. they? Pineapple Support? Yeah, are they? Are a, they while been a while ago. They've been around for, like, I, I think like, a year yeah, now. No, Brothers is, like, aren't they, like, promoting them? Probably. I feel yeah. like they were. More people are, like, getting involved in stuff. Yeah. But I think it's really great because it's super important to... Yeah touch on that stuff you For know sure. like it's okay to not be okay sometimes yeah but what matters is how you are getting yourself out of those situations yeah so you're a strong girl kelly rocket staying busy yeah really yeah yeah <laughs> you're like as long as i'm busy i'm good yeah <laughs> i'm for good. real i just love it i love it and it gives me adrenaline too if i'm busy yeah so do you have any is there any more questions um word. yeah so we did get a question yeah um a user I, could see, I could see her over there like like what's <laughs> question come on question, please. <laughs> we please. do have a question um and you know i thought it was a little odd but if you want to answer it it could be good for your worst scene um okay. somebody's asking what was your worst performance ever hmm. we'll just get a boost in ratings oh I have to think about this one on. dude i got so many <laughs> not my worst performance but just the worst like worst day no fucking chemistry Ugh. an angry fucking director i feel like <laughs> i feel like worst performance um it was a threesome with uh -huh. like three girls yeah and like you just weren't feeling it the chemistry was just not there but it was just because one of the girls like was just really had a really like bad weird attitude from mm. the beginning yeah. and her hygiene was <sighs> like when i tell you terrible she's like in my no list right now like i never yeah. she's the only girl in my no list yeah and Ugh. it was just like terrible i didn't even want to kiss her like her, the couch was white <sighs> like this and like the sweat whenever she got up it was like black and i i I know it. I know it. I don't know. And like her asshole wasn't clean. Like you could still see the crust. Like we told her she wanted to do. It. She was like, oh. "No, we're not doing anal." I was like, "But that's that's not, not for your ass." Yeah. yeah, that's called an so animal. Just from the begin, from the beginning, like I just knew it was just gonna be like, oh, like I was like, oh, I have to. Yeah, yeah. That's just there, what, that's the top of my head. I that's wish that there was saying. a polite way to be like, "I'm so sorry," but there's no polite way to say this. You smell like death. Like I will wash you myself. Let's go to the shower right now. Yes. Like let's clean like that good, that's hole. That's a good way. You just did it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I really want to have sex. I love pussy. I'm gonna shower you. Let's go to the yeah, shower right now. Yeah. I'll I, wash your body. I don't care. You can just stand there. I feel like <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that should be done too. Yeah. And I don't know. I just personally people, love. I just feel like people should know too. Just come in hygiene i i don't well, know about you but i obvious. love when yeah. someone comes to set and if they know like they're clammy or smelly or whatever they instantly are like i'm gonna go shower and they grab a towel and they go shower yeah. like i know a lot of people that no, do that literally. and i love that i'm like yeah. that's so awesome oh, yeah i know a lot and i don't really come across <laughs> a lot of people like yeah it, she was, that was just the only time people don't get it's like that we I work with our was... bodies so hygiene is like fucking 50 percent no of literally everything. literally Hygiene and, and health. Body health. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Getting tested. Getting tested. Can I like this? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Smoke that doobie, girl. I, I the people still call myself. weed doobies. 
joints? Um, no. I don't know. <laughs> I, <never laughs> like a, that. I feel like that's the like a 70s thing. people called weed Zaza. I, I don't know. Never Isn't that your that. dog's what? name? Yeah, that's why I named them Zaza. <laughs> but also because it rhymed with Zola. Kinda, yeah. And that's... So her name, her dog's names are Zola and Zaza. For, Zola and Zaza. For everybody who doesn't know. Yeah, Zola's the little teacup chihuahua. She's little, she's tiny but feisty and mighty. <laughs> she will, she is feisty. <laughs> and Zaza's a Pomeranian. I shaved him like a lion. He's a boy. That's my first boy. <laughs> uh, what's one lesson uh, you think in your job that uh, has taught you something you think everyone should learn in their life at some point um you don't have to, to be get PC tested here. yeah mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and Preach. and just know your status mm-hmm. and if you you know come across with something let your person know yeah like this is just everyone like i feel yeah. like ed, this should just be like a normal like civilians maybe not as often mm-hmm. as us but yeah. like i feel like it should be like t- like taught in school you oh know? for like, sure get tested you know yeah like you have to i don't know i feel like it should be a fucking law a bill right <laughs> <laughs> but that's the biggest lesson because i was never like i didn't it was always in my head like oh i feel like i have this i feel like i have that but i was always scared to do it and like mm-hmm. very embarrassed to do it mm-hmm. and i feel like you shouldn't you know and yeah, just you shouldn't like, be at all yeah, yeah. that's my because you know i'm always thinking about that like when sh- like when's my next test you know when <laughs> yeah. like who if i fuck someone like oh my god like i'm just thinking someone? of the other day I, w- I went to go test or whatever because i do every typically i'll do every 12 days because we're supposed to do every 14 but yeah. like i just do 12 that way there's no lapse in my test and all yeah. that shit um but I'm literally sitting there like waiting to test or whatever. And this chick walks in and like, this is just how open we are about shit, right? She's walks in and she's like, hey, I popped for gonorrhea, so I need to get the shot. <laughs> no, literally. Like, straight up, like. <laughs> literally. But the I- thing is, is some people are like, oh my God, that's so gross and embarrassing. Like, no, it's not. The thing is, is you're it's having multiple sexual yeah. partners, like it's okay to get an std what's not okay is not treating the std Literally, not, not telling, telling others anyone. that you've had intercourse with yeah and also too like con- if you constantly get it there's something you need to change about your life yes. that you're doing uh, i have not gotten it <laughs> like, surprisingly <laughs> i have not gotten it at all like with even with all the chlamydia outbreaks before the moratoriums and all of that yeah i'm thank god because sometimes i'm like girl you better knock on some more wood over there you're so busy lately <laughs> she, she's like all this content it. with all she's, these people well i i have a follow-up question to the testing though yeah um how would you talk to a civilian potential that you're going to sleep with that you would like him to be tested how would you have that conversation um i would probably just tell him you know i'm a porn star Mm -hmm. And I can't fuck up, you know, anything. So if you want to fuck with me, which I have done that actually with this one guy when I first got here, he was like a really drug dealer that a lot of people know of me here in LA. Awesome. Yeah. Drugs. I'm just kidding. Stay off drugs. Worst like (laughs) month of my life. Um, But I actually told him because that's when I first started and I was like really, really like, you know, like scared about everything in covid and i was like you know you need to get tested before we get like fuck or anything mm-hmm. i'm a porn star like i can't fuck up my career like what if you have something mm-hmm. and then you give it to me mm-hmm. and then like the, here i am like fucking five six seven people yeah. in a week yeah you know and then you got to be like hey yeah all seven of you um yeah i, I, know, I just i would just mention something about like my job you know like this is my job and like you can't fuck with it and if you fuck with it then you're getting fucked to the curb <laughs> 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 then <Yeah>. uh bye <laughs> yeah literally. so basically like you either test to be with me yeah. or like you don't yeah. yeah you have to just so you would just straight like, up just fucking yeah. give them ultimatum yeah i mean because at this point I respect like that. if you respect. meet someone now i mean like maybe a civilian i always say my name's kylie you know like mm-hmm. i'm kylie so like i just introduce myself as kylie and then they ask for my instagram and once they see my instagram that's whenever i'm like this is who i am da 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 yeah and then like if i want to fuck someone then you know yeah. ask them just you know like 
<laughs> like, I'll drive you to, te- to the testing place, yeah. but, like, I'm not paying for it, but, like, I'll drive you yeah. there, go in and get tested. We'll go I'm grab sure something to eat. Like, <laughs> they met you in it. That's one thing that I really hate about, like, when people, porn stars, like, get into relationships, too, and mm-hmm. then, you know, their partner wants to, you can't do that, but you met me in it. Oh, like, hell you wanted no. all the fucking clout of dating a porn star, and now you don't want me in it? My, I will say there's one thing that I think is, this is just my own personal opinion, but I think it's a little messed up. Um, when a performer that is a female stops like actively performing, but she starts just mainly doing content, you go over to her place to do a girl girl shoot with her and her dude is there. Oh, he's tested and he wants to do a, th- a scene with us. Every is that okay? Time. I'm like, um, no. Yeah. I don't know who you are. And also, like, what? I just yeah. want to do a girl girl scene. Like, yeah. They always try to suck I'm you leaving. In like, like I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm like, <leaving. laughs> I'm like, dude, I'll jerk myself off in the car, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, I hate that too. I like to know about it before. Yeah. I don't like know. this. Is the thing is, I, I think it's super fucked up is like being bombarded. Yes. That's like you coming in here to come do my podcast and i'm like oh hey by the way there's seven more people that are going to join you and they're going to ask you questions the whole time and you're like uh okay yeah like how do you even respond to that you know what i mean you're just like what the fuck even like sometimes even that that happens with like scenes sometimes i'm like yeah the talent got changed well uh, why you booked Uh, someone that's on my no list so i'm leaving or or unless you change the person like weird too that i'm like oh i didn't know this was a script i don't know like animal play I don't know, oh I hell that. no what? yeah hell what to, to the no no it happened to Vanessa sky hell to the no yeah so no. i was like i would not like that no and i would be like me being the nice person that i am i'd probably be like yeah and the no. inside i'm like this is so gross like <laughs> no what? yeah I no that. it's terrible i know don't do that i know yeah but i've i've been i've been would you say that's something recently. you would like? Because obviously there's always room for improvements in everyone. None of us are perfect. Would you say that's something you would like to improve about yourself is like getting stronger with like sticking up for yourself and staying no in, in situations? Yeah, and I feel like I have been a lot better at it, you know, especially with like, which I wanted to mention this. I really hope you put this on here. Yeah. That <laughs> I am not a great texter, okay? Yeah. I do not text back. And, you know, that's just my own thing. I've been trying to get better at it. I've been be- getting better at it. I've actually yeah. been getting so many text messages. I've never, my phone's always been dry since yeah. high school. Like, I've just always been working, working, working. Never really cared. Mm-hmm. Girl in the group chat just is never. Um, but the one thing I want to do better at is definitely text back and, like, you know communicate I feel that. and yeah. socializing that's why i'm like trying to be busy and yeah trying to get better at it but if you guys get mad at me I'm like yeah. my personal people you know the texting i'm sorry i'm sorry i will get back to you and if you need <laughs> me to answer you just be like yo you need to answer nine one one literally <laughs> like answer me yeah so no, i guess SOS. That shit, we're gonna pretty little liar days i get that though like i will say right now like i'm here with you and you know I, yeah i do like other guests or whatever and i'm in the studio my phone's on silent but i have it like here because i'm watching the time yeah. and like it, it's blowing up right and i I don't know about you, but I see all these like missed messages and calls and I'm like, oh my God, I got to return all these messages. I got to talk to all these people. No, and, oh, he's going to be so pissed. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me, it's like, I, I like look That's at my them. frantic brain that I just. <laughs> yeah. I like look at them and then like I, I respond in my head, but then sometimes I just, just don't type it down. I know. And there's not a way to mark it back. as unread. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck up and do that. I'll be on yes. set and I'll be like looking at something and we're about to start shooting i'll look at a text i'm like oh okay i'll write them back because they're like hey we need you yeah and then i just oh, okay and then, like, lock two my days phone go by and then i'm like fuck i never answered yeah and then, like you already feel bad and then so they then do the question mark by. thing to it and i'm like oh fuck yes i'm so sorry i'm an right. asshole yeah <laughs> basically yeah, but the people who know yeah like they 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 know and like they're actually like hey you gotta get back and, yeah like, i'll get back but like, the people who don't know and they get really mad and this has been recently because i've been meeting a lot of new people especially yeah. because of avn yeah and of like i just don't get back to people i just don't like to text either i'm not a big texter like i'm not a big like you like to be hey, on the phone what do you do yeah i yeah. like to be rather facetime like, i love call. facetiming 
I don't me know too. why it's weird. It's so weird, but like I love it. it I'm is. like, what's up? I love it too. Like if you face on me, I will probably answer a hundred percent. Yeah. Like texting, you're probably gonna get like a two, three hour, <laughs> maybe even a day to date <laughs> response like back. And it's I don't know why. I've just never been like that. I know. Never been I a think texter. I texted you on for New Year's. I think I said happy New Year's. I think you texted me back like six days later, happy New Year's. <laughs> but I don't take I that shit personally. But I know, I, feel I know a lot so of people bad. do. But it's just cause like it gets a lot too like yeah it adds up and it's like some it's the the spam text messages too that's what brings it down to like mm-hmm. the fucking amazon or you know fashion nova like oh, i have damn all you those, fashion nova yeah those damn dude spam they text, text a lot they do i'm like you guys mm-hmm. quit and it just pushes the text messages down so sure. i'm just like okay weird question but what's the last thing that you googled i love I asking this because it's a good one because some people's fucking searches Let me see <laughs> i honestly think i was watching um well it says only fans but no if i think you go that's to, the top one yeah so go to google and then if you click on the search bar it'll tell you the last thing you typed Hold in on, let me see business oh is she gonna be honest though where do i go history Dude, oh. brenda's inferno so go to right here go to google.com on your internet on the oh i don't use safari do i well it would be google but if you even went into your history let me see <laughs> oh yeah history i wonder if i can share mine's this. your feet <laughs> history i hope it's I porn know. that it would says, be so funny <laughs> it says my it's qr code porn. oh because well this is qr code or podcast guest release because someone sent me a podcast oh okay um but i don't really use history let me go oh, on okay. google <laughs> but i do search up pornhub doesn't really i do do pornhub yeah but it doesn't search up whenever i like type it mm-hmm. i don't know what google has against pornhub i have to always type i don't it down. know i, I will just- say though i'm gonna <laughs> keep saying this until it gets fixed i tweeted to pornhub i messaged them emailed them they will not answer me there is a profile that is not my verified profile that literally if you type my name in on the site it's the profile that pops up for me oh, no. and it takes forever to find my verified one and i'm like delete this it's not yeah. me like i don't understand what the fuck and they're, are they still uploading stuff it's it's hasn't there hasn't been really like any uploads really but like oh. still like yeah. it, they're using my name yeah. and then they're like using like a website and all this shit <sighs> Pornhub you need to get on it yeah dude what the fuck yeah what the hell but on my on the one that I actually use it says oh, hotel in West Hollywood Aww. because I wanted to have like a nice little hotel for like oh I'll tell content. you a place to go to mm-hmm. after this nice okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's the things called staycations where you do like a vacation like I was in the about area doing where you a live. Spa. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was like, ooh, like I don't know. The W is good. Yeah. yeah. I'm shooting content with Maximo, so I was like, that's the one thing. Never shot with him yet. I never have either, so I'm excited. So let me know He's how it goes. Big dick. <laughs> <laughs> I seen him dancing at the white party, and I was like, he gets down. <laughs> He was so stoked dancing on I everyone. It was I hilarious. I met him at the Brazzers uh, event at AVN. He was all right. <laughs> uh, would you rather have more time or more money? More time. Yeah, because you can make money during that time. Ooh. That's right. Love that. Yeah. And then if there's more time, then you have all the money in the world. Exactly. With more time, there's endless possibilities. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to ask one more question from this list over here. That reminds me of that movie, though. <laughs> Do you know that movie with Justin Timberlake where, like, they charge everything with the time on your arm? Oh, yeah. What's that called? I think it's called... Uh, it was um, a flop. Out of Out time. Of time? Mm. Probably, but I love that It's a that flop? Movie. I, didn't, I wasn't into it. I yeah. loved it. Really? Maybe I need to watch it again. I don't yeah. know. I loved it since very, since very little. I just, I don't know. I think I just love Justin Timberlake, I guess. <laughs> but I just love the part where, like, he, like, tries to fight to save his mom oh gosh and oh. she literally like, dies running oh my god spoiler alert spoiler alert spoiler alert i don't like crying i hate fucking watching movies where i fucking cry like that but one movie action have too. you ever seen the movie um the fault in our stars yes yeah i 
fucking bald like a two-year-old fucking baby dude for like an hour Aww. like seth walked in and he was like what's really wrong and i was like movie. <laughs> this movie <Aww. laughs> but i was like dying crying and i'm like i hate this shit <laughs> i remember when that movie came out the, like the book came out too like oh no book yeah read of the book too yeah. <laughs> and i was like no no the the book from the fault in all stars oh okay everyone like wanted to read it and i was yeah. like I was just never really a big reader too, which yeah. I've been starting to read books too. I read the, I read the Harry Potter books. I was gonna say Harry mm. Potter. Love never Harry Potter. read Harry Potter. I've <gasps> never seen Harry. <gasps> I know everyone's <gasps> like, okay, we're gonna do a Harry Potter like marathon day. Mm. And I was like, I would. That's I wouldn't recommend doing it in a day. That's it's a, a lot. lot of Harry. I would How do many like. Are there? Uh, eight. I think there's like seven or eight. Yeah, I would do it in like a couple of days because they're mm. long. Yeah, but yeah. If you do it in one day, you're going to be like, I'm just fucking sick of Harry Potter. <laughs> but if you do it in a few days, you'll appreciate yes. Harry Potter. It's it's amazing, though. Um, yeah. What What is something that you would like everyone to know that maybe you haven't shared um, with anyone yet or just something in general you'd like everybody to know about Miss Kylie Rocket? Um, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just... I don't know if people notice I'm very I don't know if I'm very private but I'm also very I like share a lot of things but I don't share a lot of things mm -hmm. I just like being private in like my own way I just don't know like yeah that's just one thing like I don't share as much and I'm not really good with like posting yeah and, like which I feel bad about and then like at the end of the day i'm like fuck i didn't take a picture or i didn't post this or i didn't post that yeah but i just i feel like i'm just very private and mm -hmm. i feel bad sometimes but you know you get what you get i feel like you shouldn't feel bad about that because that's just that's why i feel how, like that's i'm kylie how, because kylie uh, jenner is a very private kardashian jenner very that's why i name myself kylie because yeah. i feel like that's how i'm like yeah i'm very like I feel like Kendall way. is even more like Yeah, they're both you never yeah, you never know. They're like completely just off the grid. Yeah. It's pretty cool actually. Yeah. I admire that. But they still like, you know, do their thing. Yeah. They post with you know, they gotta post. They yeah. post their brand. Yeah. So uh I guess before I have you share your social media and websites and all that stuff, do you wanna tell anyone what um what you have for goals for like the next year? Like any type of certain projects you would like to do or scenes you would like to do? Um, I definitely want to do like star and like a lead role and like a feature film. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, work just really work hard on that. I, that's what I really, really want to do is like get to have a lead role <clears throat> in a feature film for sure. Mm -hmm. Would you <laughs> Would you rather um do a drama or a comedy? If you had to pick a genre for that movie. I feel like I'd be good at comedy. Mm -hmm. You're good with timing for <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's what comedy's all about. It's like timing. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> comedy. Cause I'm good with drama, but I'm not good with like being the mean one. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I'm so like, I would do it, but I just, it's so hard. That's yeah. the ones I just, I don't know. Well, maybe that would actually be good. Cause it'd be more of a challenge for you. Yeah, maybe. maybe. And I have to really get into it. Yeah, it's pr it's pretty hard, hard being a lead in a movie. It's a lot of pressure. But yeah. if you have an awesome like co-star, that's you know another co-star that's either female or male, yeah, and you guys both have good chemistry and you're working well together, it makes that so much that easier and better. better. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I think that's awesome goal. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to do within the next um, year? I'm I'm just really really just saving up because yeah. I just once I get my house that's when things are gonna start like it's gonna pop off yeah I just have so many things like I have like so many things in my heads and ideas that I want to do but with a house that I want to get mm -hmm. you know I have to save a little bit mm -hmm. I give myself a year or two before nice. I can actually like put my foot down and I love that I love so, that goal little by little mm-hmm I have more little ideas and it tweaks and you know some stay some go mm -hmm. so 
Some improve, some don't. I have a whole list in my phone and my notes Dang. of like different ideas. I write them down. Just in case. You yes. never know. Yes, you never because know. you forget. I literally forget sometimes what I'm going to buy. Like yeah. I need to buy something. I have and so I'll many write goddamn notes in my phone. I feel like a fucking yeah. 80 year old lady. I have a whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. Like a calendar and then the whiteboard like yeah. just regular because it's just faster to me. Sometimes I'm thinking about yeah. it and like I can't find my notebook or pen. Yeah. And the magnet one on the fridge. You just yeah. write it down. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm the same way. I'm like, okay, at least I f- don't feel crazy now. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a bunch of post-its. <laughs> I've been bad. I've tried post-its. I, it's not my thing. I have more whiteboard. I have the whiteboard. It's what's really I do like the me. whiteboard. Also, too, the good thing about a whiteboard, too, is, I mean, you can use that also when you do, like, customs and shit. If it's like, you say this person's name and you're just, like, writing yes. everything you need to say so you don't forget. Yes. That's helped me a lot. That's literally what I do. Uh, yeah. I, I know that's a weird thing to like a whiteboard for, but it's helpful for it is, content creators. It it's big. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know? I feel so bad. One time I did a custom and it was like 15 minutes or 12 minutes, some shit like that. And the whole time I was saying the wrong name, I thought it was David and it was Davide that I was supposed to be saying. And oh, I was wow. like, fuck. I mean, so I had to like, really, that was pretty close. <laughs> yeah. That's like, Davide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty close. So I David. had to like redo it all, but yeah. Oh, uh, well, I appreciate you coming today. If you could tell everyone your um, social medias and then your OnlyFans and anything else you'd like to plug. Yes. Thanks thanks for having of me. Of course. Um, my Instagram is Kylie underscore Rocket underscore. My Twitter is at Rocket Kylie. My OnlyFans is OnlyFans.com slash Rocket Kylie. And I just signed on to this new thing named Sheer.com, mm-hmm. S-H-E-E-R. And it's basically almost the same thing as OnlyFans. Just has like a little bit, just more like clips and okay. stuff. Um, Do you chat with people on there too or no, it's just clips? I think, yeah, I okay. can chat. I've literally just signed up like two days ago. Okay. So I'm trying to, you know. There's so many sites that are like OnlyFans now, so I always get confused. I'm like, what's the difference here? Yeah, but... OnlyFans is just, you know, it's it's easy to me. Yeah. You know, I've ever just gotten used to it. Mm-hmm. But check that out. You know, Kylie Rocket, it's my username. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Awesome. All right, guys. Be sure to follow her on social media and join her OnlyFans and her Sheer. Is that how I'm yeah. saying it right? Sheer. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So check out Kylie Rocket or look her up on Pornhub even. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again and Thanks. thank you guys Bye. see you next time bye <laughs> hi i'm kenzie taylor and this is feels by kenzie taylor it's a water-based lubricant vegan cruelty-free silky smooth tasteless and you're always gonna be wet <laughs> you can pre-order now by going to feelsbykenzie.com order it now What's the freakiest thing you've ever done? Um, eating pasta in bed. Not true. You licked my. Like oh, I did. Ago. I did. But after I ate pasta in bed. Why was that so freaky? I don't know. It was a lot of sauce.